Hello there. Oh my god. Okay. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I've been cleaning all day. It's my day off. Tomorrow I have a class, an extended class to go to. So if you would like to get extensions, hit me up and see if I'm um, around your area or whatever. What I'm going to be doing today is cleaning out Karma's cage. Well, I'll show you guys right now how it looks. There is a lot of powder. Where's she at? Where are you at, Karma? Oh. <laughs> She's up in the corner, dead. But, uh, so her cage is dirty. I'm gonna be cleaning it. So all that powder down there is, like, her calcium powder. You have to dust her crickets in calcium. So you have to dust their crickets in calcium to make sure that they're getting those nutrients that they need. The calcium just coats the crickets, uh, and then they can get it from there, but you also have to throw in like uh, their multivitamins, but like you can't do them every day. You have to have like a schedule. So when people say chameleon, at first when I got Karma, I was like, she's so easy to take care of. Like, oh my gosh. But she is easy to take care of, but she's high maintenance. She's high maintenance because you have to do things like get crickets every two or three days. Um, in her cage every two weeks because the bottom gets super dirty and wet because like her dripper drips all the water you have to make sure you have enough water for them you have to get uh, the supplies that they need which I'll show you over the time if you guys want to see that I'm gonna keep making videos about karma because like I guess I don't really know what else to make videos about like before I thought oh no I'll make all kinds of videos but I never thought about like what videos you have to make excuse my hair but it's my day off. I let this face grease. Sorry, I had to drink some water. Water! Woo! What? Woo! Tell me what that's from. Comment down below. So what I like to do is I start off with an empty trash can. This is essentially empty. All I had was ramen and I emptied out like groceries. This is the problem I have with my apartment complex. It's so frustrating to not have a recycling bin because I want so badly to be someone that recycles, but I don't have a recycling bin. So then I start putting all like my water bottles and stuff that I use, <coughs> excuse me, in a bag. And then I tie that bag up and then that bag gets thrown outside. And then I'm scared to touch that bag because there's probably spider webs in it now. And now I don't know what to do. It's probably gonna be there till I move out. So if, you know, we had recycling bins, I could make use of that. So I always like to start off with putting on gloves just because uh, one time my sister gave me these wood chips, they were kind of big and I moved them with my hands and then I got all kinds of splinters in my hands from the wood chips. I would highly recommend wearing gloves because you don't want to hurt yourself while you're doing this. That's not fun. It's not fun. Okay. So what I do first? Why are you mad? Watch my videos, like my videos, subscribe to my channel so I can invest in a ring light and a better camera. Ooh, those are getting kind of low there. <laughs> okay. Children, 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 children. Silencio. So if you can't see Karma, she's up in this corner. I'm not gonna mess with her because she's already upset. -y. So what I like to do first is you have to unlatch these little hinges. Can I get this trash? First, I take out her little worm bowl. This also has powder in it, so I'm gonna put it in the sink because it needs a little scrub now. And I like to scrub this down with 
uh, this Flunkers. I got it from PetSmart. They also sell it at the house. So this little branch right here is really not connected to anything. So it's a good thing that she's like up in her corner. When you buy the cage, the cage doesn't come with this tray. Just an FYI. If you're looking into getting the cage and you're like, wow, that's not expensive. Which, like, you don't necessarily need the tray. But it does make, it makes it so much easier to just take everything out. Otherwise, you're going to be, like, in his or her cage, trying to, like, scoop it out. And the reason why it's normally a good idea to get like a nice new fresh bag when you're doing this is because one, it's a lot, especially when you have a big one like this. And two, you're still going to spill. So you're going to have to sweep it up and put it in here so you don't want the bag to overflow. And three, it's clean so it's okay if the tray touches it and you don't have to worry about getting any bad germs on it so that your chameleon doesn't get sick. I get napkins or a towel or whatever I have. These are just Chipotle napkins. So I'm just gonna go in, give everything on the bottom like a quick, quick wipe down, and then I'll show you what I wipe down her tray with. And it's safe. Stop being so upset. I'm not fucking with you. I'm cleaning your cage. But I just get these little things. Well, I guess I'll wet it down. So I just made it a little bit damp. And I'm just going around the edges and getting off all that little extra dust. The crickets will run up while they've been dusted, and when she smacks them, the powder stays on the cake. I'm gonna get a towel because this is just falling apart. I'm assuming she doesn't mind us this much anymore. I don't know. I don't know what goes on in, in her head. So, like I said, since I can't find that wipeout stuff, I'm super nervous about her like getting sick because of germs or something, but I'm assuming she'll be okay because... The wood chips cover this thing, so I'm just going to wipe it down, and then I'll show you guys how I just pour her wood chips on top. And then normally one takes her out, and I spray that wipe out on her leaves, and then I give it a good rinse. Then I put the tray in. It's almost clean now. need if you have a chameleon it is a mister you let me fill it up with water first at this top you pump it it starts getting harder to pump like after it fills up with water so I spray all the way through back here 
if Karma's in there, because I don't want to hurt her. And just make sure you get all the leaves really well. go in the bottom and give it one more good wipe down before I put the wood chips in. Can you guys see her? Right here. She's coming down. She wants and I noticed she drinks the water droplets from the top of the water dripper more than she drinks the droplets from her actual dripper that I bought her. Let me open this. Oop, there she goes. She's on the prowl. I don't know where she's going. Where are you going, Karma? Thanks so much for watching me and Karma, really appreciate it. Uh, like I said, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Uh, and we hope to see you next month. Lighting is horrible. Maybe I'll just have to go for film like this all the time. Bye! Say bye, Karma!